Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 28th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can add a theme. <laughs> Alright then guys, so we've added all of these different Bootstrap components in and they've all got that kind of default look about them, you know, these different colours here. These are the default contextual classes, things like primary, uh, danger, warning, success, the colour of these things here. Okay, and uh, that looks fine, but you don't want to upload your website looking like this because it's just going to look like any other lame ass out of the box bootstrap website. All right, you want to make yours a little bit different. So we can approach this in a few different ways. We can either add our own style sheet, like right here underneath this style sheet, and uh, we can do that by just saying something like this link href equals style.css, something like that, and then create this file over here so we can link to that and then we can just override some of these default styles right here. But if you want a quicker solution, then we can always use, oops, themes, okay? And Bootstrap themes are basically just CSS files that other people have made that we can link into our website that is gonna change the look and feel of this website. So it's not just gonna look like a standard out of the box Bootstrap website, and it's not gonna look like you can't be bothered to change anything, all right? So where can we get these themes? Well. You might just want to do a quick Google search because there's quite a lot of different sites out there where you can download themes. You can get free themes and you can get premium themes. Now, premium themes probably start from about $2 these days, so you can get them pretty cheaply. Um, and uh, free themes you can get from this website here, plus another couple of websites as well. I'm just going to show you this one, which is bootswatch.com. Okay, so head over there and uh, take a look at these themes. So you get a, a quick preview right here. If you want to preview it even more, you can just click this button right here. But I'm just going to download one uh, that looks all right. I'll go for this superhero one. And uh, I'm just going to press this download button right here. And it's going to show you. So I'm just going to link to it in my document. Now, if you were going to use this theme, I'd probably download this CSS file and put it in your local files. I'm just going to link to it now uh, just for you know simplicity. So... Let's come back to our HTML file and we'll add in a link href equals, then we'll paste in that. Um, the rel is going to be style sheet and type equals text slash CSS. Okie dokie. So let's save that and uh, check out this beast in the browser. And boom, it's all changed. No longer does this just look like a lame ass bootstrap out of the box website looks a little bit different yeah okay so that's how we can quickly change the look of our website and if we want to customize it further we can do you know we can just add in our own CSS file again here right so for example we could just do something like this I'm just going to inspect this element just so I can get a rule um, where is it okay so let's come down this one here I want to inspect these things I don't know why Chrome is doing all this so I'm just going to um, get this rule here, okay? Copy it. I'm going to close this now. Then I'm going to come here, and I know that I would normally add in a style sheet, but just to make this quick, I'm going to paste it right there like that, okay? And uh, oops, I've done it on the wrong side of the style tag. Paste it right here. And uh, then what I'll do is give these a border radius of 10 pixels. Right, so I'll save that and just refresh over here. And now you can see these all have a bit of a border radius like that, okay? So you can uh, change the styles further if you wanted to. You can probably see that kind of light blue coming in behind, so I'd have to do that as well to make it look okay. But you get the point. The point is we can use themes to quickly change the look and feel of our websites, right? And then we can further add changes using our own CSS or, you know, just use your own CSS from the beginning. Entirely your choice, all right? So that's how we add themes, and uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial series, guys. Um, I will be doing more Bootstrap stuff in the future. I'm going to be making a Bootstrap WordPress theme, so I'll show you how to do that. And uh, I'll also be looking at Bootstrap 4 in a few weeks as well. So until then, if you have any questions whatsoever, leave those down below. Thanks so much for watching this series, and uh, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial series.